Hi again. <laughs> um, yeah, so this is cone holder. So what I was basically trying to say, so obviously you've got the big, you've got the big hole this side, and then next to the pokey, so that's the pokey hole, then you've got a smaller hole. Um, now, obviously this hole can't be closed up because that has to facilitate for this to go in. So once that's inside, the problem that I have is that this. So when, when this little bit is inside, um, I've lost the lid, so, but obviously it won't slip out this side because of the lid. It's not gonna do that because there'll obviously be a lid on there. Now, when it's like this, um, so that all looks cool. And I think like if that was sticking out like that much or two cent, like one centimeter, two centimeters, that's fine. I think that actually looks quite cool because it will have the gold lid. Um, I, we'll talk about it later, but I think we'll we'll go with a white logo and a white lid if possible, or black logo, black lid, all black. Um, just because the gold, you can see it just sort of rubbed away quite a lot. Um, and yeah, the gold. I think it's nice, but I think all black would actually be best. If not, the white, the white logo. I lot. I am. Um, it's with like somebody else at the moment, but the white logo still looks white, and I think it's um, the laser engraving did work a lot better than the silk screen. I think this was. Um, so I'm not sure whether we can laser engrave it in black rather than white, but yes. So I'm getting distracted. So the main main thing about this video is just this bit. So obviously this this hole remains open, the big hole. But in this little hole, in some way, whether it's just like another lid that just pops on and pops off, or whether we can sort of permanently just um, put something over it, like whether it's plastic or metal, um, just to prevent this, because that... I see getting snapped in transit, um, like when it's being delivered, but also more importantly, when the customers got it, as I say, they like, a lot of the customers in UK are going to want to go to festivals with their grinder, go to the park, go to clubs, go out with it. Um, and it's gonna just basically be put in a, a handbag, like, or um, like, a, like a man bag, like a shoulder bag. And if it's just rolling around in it, it's gonna. So you put it in there, you think everything's cool, and then all of a sudden it goes like that without you knowing. And then you're reaching in to get your purse, and you're fidgeting around, and you just snap your cone holder like boom. Now I could really see that happening, and. Well, I mean, to be fair, it might be a good thing because then they have to buy another one, but. <laughs> but um, yeah, I'd rather solve that problem if we can by just simply closing that hole um i think we discussed it before the reason why that that hole is there is for like the balance of the whole design um but i think if we could uh go around that by using like um like a a removable lid then maybe that eradicates the problem i did have something hmm, that's not the right one I'll send the I'll send an attachment with what I've found. It was just from um, like a hardware store, but it's literally just like a plastic stopper, and then just boom. And that would, although I would prefer it to be metal for the looks, I think the f the s the fact that it would save uh, or would prevent the cone holder breaking. Happy to substitute the looks for the practicality and the for the customer the convenience as well of not having a broken cone holder 